assalamu alaikum guys welcome to my youtube channel orthopedist i hope that you all are doing good and uh, well and enjoying your days so so your video is about to be come with another new topic of ortho uh, that which is related to orthopedic field and uh, uh, for starting of new video i have to revise all my previous videos and the topics of the orthopedist uh, and related orthopedic field which include the orthopedic surgery and um, fracture infection bone infection joint infection and many other topics so if you still don't watch then go and watch my videos so our today to today's topic is peripheral nerve injuries which is um, the orthopedist uh, topic so in this video we will going to know what are the peripheral injuries and how they occur and what are the types and classification and so many things so let's start its introduction of the definition that peripheral nerve damage affecting the upper and the lower extremities can vary widely in cause and extent that is uh, stretching compression and transection many disorders ranging from mild carpal tunnel syndrome to the severe brachial plexopathy need to be considered in a patient presenting with pain sensory loss weakness involving the shoulder arm or a head so if you feel any kind of this injury you may consult your doctor or your orthopedist these are the nerve injuries you can say that uh, nerve injuries is classified by the sudden into three types neuropexia exo exono exonot exonot meses and neurot meses so you can see the picture of these types first one uh, red portion include re yellow portion also second one contain only middle red portion and third one contain a uh, bigger size uh, red portion other than first two okay now we will see an other picture of uh, neuropexia that uh, there is yellow portion is going so smoothly and in exono exonotomesis uh, there is something obstruction in the yellow portion of the uh, grayish like uh, uh, portion and uh, in neurotomesis there is complete uh, you can say obstruction this one is another pic picture neuropexia conduction block exo exontomesis exantivated neurotomesis uh, nerve divided okay so i hope that you all of uh, understand uh, these diagrams now we'll move towards our the classification of the peripheral nerve injuries which is the most important topic of uh, this that it include what classification it includes sudden sudder sunderland and lately by the mackinnon and 6 degrees okay these are the two basic classification uh, sunderland in 1951 it is introduced it contains 6 degrees 1 2 3 4 5 in the first facial conduction block occur no valerian degeneration in the second degree an axonal disruption occur in the third degree axon plus endoneurium disruption occur in the fourth one axon plus uh, endoneurium and perineurium disruption occur and in the fifth one axon plus endoneurium plus perineurium and epineurium disruption occur so what is sunderland classification is degree of the injury <clears throat> suggesting a greater anatomical disruption uh, with its correspondingly altered prognosis Anatomically, there are one to five degrees: myelin, axon, endoneurexis, perineurium, endoneurium, entire nerve trunk. Sixth degree is the Mackinson or a mixed injuries occur in which a nerve trunk is partially severed and remaining part of trunk is sustained. Okay, further we will see what is neuropexia. Uh, It is a temporary paralysis of a nerve caused by a lack of the blood flow or by a pressure on the affected. a uh, nerve with no loss of structural continuity what is exonot uh, meses it is the neural tube intact by auxins and disrupted nerves are likely to recover and neurot meses the neural tube is severed and injuries are likely to permanent without repairing okay we will see that neuropexia include no motor and exonot meses include no motor neurot meses include no motor but neuropexia contain positive and negative sensory and positive and negative autonomic nerve system while other contain none of the sensory and autonomic system 
uh, further there is no fibrillation in neuroprexia while other contain fibrillation so guys i hope that you all understand completely what are the peripheral nerve injuries so if you guys understand then go and like my video and wait for another important topic of the orthopedic uh, take care of office